Hello, welcome in. This is Kiara, and this is going to be a reading for the real ones only. Spirit saying there's a crazy miracle coming in. They've been nagging me to grab this deck, grab that deck. I actually wanted to do a different kind of reading, but they hijacked me for this one. Someone's created a crazy, crazy miracle. And as I was collecting all these decks and doing as I'm told by my spirit guides, they're giving me the song. I have a dream, a crazy vision. I don't even know when that's off key, but it's a song about having a crazy vision and having a powerful consciousness enough to create whatever you want. See, they're hijacking me again because that's probably not what the song's about, but what I'm getting is you have this beautiful, big, magnanimous consciousness. You know that whatever you visualize and put that beautiful heart's essence into has to manifest on your beautiful timeline, in your beautiful reality. So Spirit wants me to double check the viewers out here. I've got so many real ones. I've got so many beautiful, powerful souls watching. But this is a warning from Spirit. Turn back now if you ain't a real one because this reading ain't for you. And Spirit's been watching. Spirit watches my viewers. And the ones of you who are real, you get the blessings. But those of you putting in those little, I know who you are. We want positivity only on the ship of dreams okay so let's keep the comments nice and uh, this is for the kings queens and the divinities on the earth let's look what we're cooking up with our crazy ability to create whatever we want yeah they show me a big golden ank so that could mean something to somebody we've got the king of wands here and the five of pentacles okay something's been cooking something's been cooking in this building safe haven but this is a crazy miracle reading Something big's coming in here, okay? King of Wands energy. You've had this fire lit inside of you. And you've been seeing ahead of the curve. You've been zooming along. They're showing me the road runner. Meet me. So you've been ahead of it. You've been maybe providing a light for others. The metaphysical realm sees the light that you've been creating. Even if no one else does, right? It could have felt crazy on this cosmic stage down here. Because you're the one with the light. You're the beacon. You're the illumination is what I'm getting here. We've got the tower on the bottom of the deck. So again, there's this idea of having to hold it down, having to stay in your position. Yeah, they're giving me this soldier energy, like hold that location. But I feel like your astral body's been running around. They're telling me swimming, flying. Your astral body's been doing some crazy stuff to get this crazy vision alive. Let's see, this is the red fairy tarot. They wanted me to use this. Now this is a beautiful piratey deck. This is... Something real beautiful. Yeah, we've got death coming out here. Big transformation. And you've been preparing, I feel, for this, this vision to come about. Because we've got death energy with the Queen of Swords. No prisoners held here. Okay, you could be a very individual person. 0303 zero, three, zero, three on my clock. You could prefer to use your non-physical guidance system. And I feel like you're really good at this. This has been your natural state. I'm getting, since you're a kid, you've been using your natural internal flame the eternal flame right there's a flame you follow a fire you follow and nothing else will do okay with energies like this the queen of swords death energy nothing else will do you've been following this signal your whole life and i feel like that's why you've created such a beautiful big crazy off the charts miracle in your life because we only get what we conjure we only get what we create with our minds and for you, you are like, oh, they're telling me Blade. The movie Blade could mean something to you. It's like a double-edged sword thing they're saying with this Queen of Swords. Like, you've got a lot of love, but you've only got it for one scenario, one situation. That's what I feel here. Let's have a look. What's going on? They want me to go more into the childhood energy, more into that childhood energy. But I'm going to do that with the Pulp Tarot. Let's see the Empress right here. Baking up a good one. This is you baking up your dream. And we've got the Ten of Swords right here. Again, Eight of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. You've been doing the work privately. It kind of feels to me like no one around you knows what your goal really is. No one else sees this because this is hidden. This is your spiritual guidance here. But there is a 3D pathway here that has to end with the Ten of Swords. And you're prepared for it. It's like you're ahead of the game. Because this thing you're baking is so much more important to you. This bigger vision, this ideal. I'm getting this ideal for you. You're not budging on your ideal. You're not one of these people who, who gives up. 
You're not a quitter. You don't fall down the muddy hill. You keep going and you keep going and you get up that hill. It doesn't matter how muddy it is. It doesn't matter if there's a six foot wall you've got to get over. It doesn't matter if there's the biggest obstacle course of landmines. You're going to do it because for you, the vision is all that counts. And this is what gives us our power. We don't get power from frittering our energy away, trying to fit in with the Monopoly board. We get our power by knowing who we are, what we represent, what we would fight for, what we would die for, what we would live for. That's where we get our power from. Who is worth our life? Who would we run onto the battlefield for and risk our life for? And I feel like this is what this means to you. You don't do things the catalog way. Okay, you're not going to be hypnotized and clockwork oranged into creating the reality that some other idiot told you to create and has been creating before you were even born. You're here to change things up. You're a reality shifter. You're the one with the blade. There's something about your mind here. You can take the timeline either way. You can take the timeline any way you want it. They really need to drill this into you. You are so good keeping yourself in a five of pentacles scenario. And this is like the sort of situation that most human beings would cry about. They're saying most human beings would cry like, oh, five of pentacles, how am I going to cope? Well, you know how you cope because you're a warrior. You're like Blade. It's almost like what they're telling me is middle pathway. You honor, you kind of protect the wall between the light energies and the dark energies. But they're telling me you can go either way. Because you've got the balance, you've got the darkness and the light balanced perfectly within you. Which is why these situations don't phase you. <laughs> I'm saying, no, 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 no. There's no way this situation can phase you. You're like an agent, you're like a warrior of the divine realm. But there's something baking here. We've got toil and labor and then we've got gift coming out, you know. And that glowing energy matches this empress. There's a new world being born. An, an entire new world being born. And for you, with this Queen of Swords energy, nothing else will do. We've got distant horizons here. So this is that crazy vision. This is the crazy vision right here. The ship flying, no anchor, nothing weighing us down. Flying, soaring, full color with the flag up. You see this flag? This ain't no ordinary flag. This is a self-designed flag. You get to tell yourself who you are. You get to be who you are. And this is like a soul group thing where no one, no one can brainwash you out of giving your work, your energy, your beautiful divine potion bottles of energy. You give them all to the cause. Whatever this is to you, you're doing it right. This is the thing. Spirit wants you to know you've been doing it right all the time with this five of pentacles because you've got an instinct. You know, Blade can't just hang around with any old human beings he has to find himself a whistler he has to find himself a crazy i don't know if he's on the same one with ryan reynolds i can't remember but he needs a crazy crew he can't be around those regular people who are so scared to step outside of the lines you're done with that you're done their world isn't for you and yeah it could have felt like you were being pulled and from one world to the other but you had to hold your ground because your your heart's flame is so powerful here and you're behind this door, but you're looking, right? You're looking out like, here's my flame. Here's my flag, right? You're ready. You're prepared. And you've kept yourself perhaps isolated, separate from all of those things that could pull you off of your true soul's pathway. Tower energy. It's going to be made clear to you, very clear that you made the right decision to be all those things. To know yourself better than any other human around you. It's going to pay off beautifully. They really want me to look into the childhood here. Number 36, number 38, number 17. The star energy. Star energy coming through. Ten of wands. Okay, so difficult childhood here. But uh, not experiencing the things that other kids got to experience. Maybe seeing that all the other kids were inside this house. Warm. Understood. I don't know. There's something about the comparison between your childhood and... And what you saw other people experiencing. We've got the Eight of Wands and the Devil card here. So I'm here and make me a bird. I need to fly away, okay? Eight of Wands is flying. You could have had a childhood where you really knew you were trapped in something here. I'm hearing better the devil you know. You know, it's like sometimes you've got to do your time, even as a child. Because you know if you went out into the big wide world, there would be worse devils. 
that's kind of the vibe I'm getting here for this. They're showing me the little girl on Forrest Gump when she's hiding in the field saying, I need to fly away, I need to fly far, far away, right? So someone has had that, had that experience. If this isn't your childhood, then, uh, you know, do ignore that message. But we've got justice here, pure justice, pure fire, pure power. You must have built a lot of strength up in childhood here because we've got the high priestess showing up. So it's hard being a sensitive child. It's hard feeling all these energies and not being able to escape the energy because a high priest or a high priestess in training from a very young age, they have to feel everything. There's no hiding from the energy, but that's how you get your bearings in life. Feeling all those dark energies, feeling the truth about what humans are capable of, even if, you know, you've got to live with them and they're, they're devilish. You could have lived with people who didn't have their heart chakra activated. And again, I don't want to trigger anyone, but spirit wants to give you recognition for the fact that whatever this difficulty was, it developed you here into the high priestess. And we normally would see two columns behind the high priestess, the knower of secrets, the one who sits on the middle line, neutral, understanding all understanding true justice, true universal law, but also understanding the balance of energies, the negative polarity and the positive polarity. So something here trained you up to be this most powerful form of justice, queen of swords, again, Libra energy, death, emperor energy here, you're in control, You've got that consciousness. They really want to drill it through to somebody. You're not just an average citizen. They want you to stop seeing yourself as a member of society or, you know, that's all cute and all that, but we're immortal. We don't need to be fearful of being alone on the earth. We can't escape, right? We can't escape from our own existence, whether we're here or in another dimension. So spirit wants you to understand that you did the right thing, not seeing yourself as a member of society, not allowing them to pull you in to their thought forms, to their version of reality. You've got something important baking and you know that you've got a gift for the world. Hmm. Let's have a look. Let's clarify Queen of Swords. Yeah, your consciousness has been selected, separated, judgment energy here and you knew you had an instinct. You had a real instinct that nothing else would do other than this gifted place you're going to right you're willing to put in the work here toil and labor lots of components lots of details lots of potentials for mismanagement i'm hearing so i feel like you know there's a lot of energies of the 3d world trying to tempt you out of your pathway trying to make you feel like you're crazy when you stand above that collective consciousness okay you are one rush russian doll outwards your consciousness isn't on that level and you know this. You absolutely know this. Show me death, energy. You're going through a huge, huge transformation of the soul here. Again, that five of pentacles with the death. So you're transforming out of this cold energy. And again, with a childhood like this, you've had to see what other people have had your whole life that you haven't had. But you always had faith with the high priestess energy. You knew from a young age with the high priestess where you belonged. You knew this instinctively. And you were always waiting for this tower to fall. You were always waiting for the scene to shift, for the TV station to shift to the right station. And I'm getting that's what's happening now because you've got the formidable temple of consciousness that can get anything it wants. That's why this crazy vision has to be crazy. We have to be crazy to do something different compared to what's been done before. All right, I'm getting words coming through here that I don't particularly want to use. But Spirit's saying you cannot let, I can't use that word, you can't let the non-adept affect your adept ways. You are adept and you will always find loads of people who are completely clueless, scared, powerless because they choose to be, trying to stop you being this full-on powerful divine being. King of Pentacles here, something real, something coming into fruition. The Empress and the King of Pentacles combined this is mastery of the physical reality. Ten of swords with the sunshine energy. And then we do have the empress on the bottom of the deck again. 
So this is you breaking out of that lower world. It could have felt like a prison, but you're tough. I can feel you being like, yeah, all in a day's work, you know, not much bothers you after this, right? After this sort of childhood, how could anything bother you? So I feel like that's why you're so good at this because the comparison between what you got used to from a young age, 10 and ones, first card out, you were born into it, born into the burden, but you've learned to cope so well that I feel like sometimes you don't even realize how well you cope. But no, I can feel this energy as someone who's like, yeah, this is easy for me. I know I'm chosen. I know I'm good at this. And I knew there was something beautiful, a gift on the distant horizons. And you've known this since you were small, right? Could be something to do with fertility here. I just keep being told birthing the new world. Now, every human being, their consciousness is the entire world. Hence, we've got the sun card here and a child full of joy, glee, exuberance, and it's funny, Spirit's telling me here, one sec, this just fell on the floor, right, Spirit's telling me no child should have to feel like this, ever, and you were a child that had to feel like this, now it's time for you to experience what you should have experienced over here, it's a redo, it's a, it's beautiful, it's beautiful, it's like Spirit is picking you up for keeping to this crazy vision for keeping your dreams alive for being so beautiful and doing it the way source energy wants you to do it not the way the the lost ones want you to do it you know there's nothing like lost people who want everyone else to be lost because it makes them feel like they're doing the right thing and I feel like you've dealt with a lot of these lost idiota right it's kind of like that it's like idiocy I feel like you've dealt with a lot of lost people who want you to stay in the same lost mindset because it makes them feel like they're on the right train. And you're like, no, I'm independent. No, you can't have all this power. No, you can't pin me down. Especially with a childhood like this, you could have experienced the ricochet of maybe escaping something, but finding that you had the same frequency and the devil's kept on keeping on for a long time. So independence here, I feel is preferable. I feel like some of us like a five of pentacles. We like not being pressured by other people's expectations. But here, this is all flipping around for you. With this Empress energy, I'm hearing Divine Dom. That's funny. Like you're a boss, you're a boss. Nah, they're not having this for you. 10 of wands with the eight of swords. So it's all getting cleared up. You see this, you're gonna be experiencing what you never had in your childhood. It's all been piling up for you, all these gifts. All this energy, the way you held your ground, it's universal law. You wished for something beautiful here and you might not have got it while you were a kid. Clearly, clearly you're chosen, right? You knew this had to happen, but your gifts in your vortex have been building up so beautifully. This is going to feel so big for you because you haven't had it here. It's going to feel overwhelming when this crazy miracle comes in and it's the new world you're birthing. Let's get some cat cards and see what's coming on because only my initiated ones know what their dream is but this is something big this is something beautiful and spirit wants you to know you're getting this because of this crap over here you're getting this because you saw maybe other kids getting loved on by their parents and you didn't have that there's no way source energy is letting you down on this one source energy wants you to believe you do deserve to have this they want to make up for whatever happened in your childhood here they really want to make it up to you because you're going to have double the gifts here, double the fun. It's a bit Benjamin Button. I'm getting you had to be so grown up, so strong, so tough when you were smaller. That now it's like this childhood woohoo kind of energy because you did the burden. And they just keep saying no child should have to feel like that. No child should have to feel this much despair, this much confusion but you needed to sample it. You needed to see how the humans treat their children. You needed to see the ignorance. You needed to experience it. So you knew what they accept for their children. You're not the children of man. You're a child of God. There's a difference between the children of men and the children of the gods. Yeah, the oldest, the oldest beings, the oldest, most powerful souls that have ever had anything to do with earth. You're one of them. So you have to see how they treat their children, the humans, not the gods, the humans. You have to see what they accept for themselves. Hmm. Nine of wands here, locked in that situation, locked in the situation. This cat has got their eyes closed. Like, God, I can't believe it. I can't believe this is what it is, right? Trying to close your eyes, trying to shut it out, 
trying to escape. You could have been really good with your imagination with the high priestess. You could have been really good at escaping via your mind. And they're saying this is what now makes you so supreme with your instincts that sometimes you might doubt yourself that you're so good. You're so good that you might second guess yourself. Be like, can I be this good ahead of time? Can I be this powerfully attuned? And Spirit's saying, yes, you can. Because you had to practice. You had to really practice here. Three at a time, no. Let's get one. There's that eight of wands again. You had to practice running away in your mind. Maybe you were always thinking, how can I escape? How can I get away from this? I feel like you built up so much power because we've got the eight, nine, ten of wands, the eight of wands, eight, nine, ten of wands. It seems like a circle here of you thinking I need to go, but I've got to stay. I need to go, but I've got to stay. It's it's hasn't been easy, right? Planning your getaway, planning your escape here. Oh, six of cups energy. There's that soul group energy. It's a soulmate energy here that you were picking up on with the high priestess. One that was always there energetically. It might not have made sense to you logically or rationally. But these are six cups of heartful energy. Again, they're showing me Forrest Gump and his little friend. Can't, Jenny, Jenny, of course, little Jenny. So they're showing me Forrest Gump and Jenny, but your Forrest Gump may have been spiritual. Going into your heart space, trying to close your eyes, trying to get that feeling back or just instinctively knowing you were loved on some level, even if it didn't feel like that around you. Show me. You've waited for this your whole life. You've waited for this your whole life. Queen of Swords here, ready to cut off the old scenario. You were ready when you were young. Because we've got that Queen of, Swords, Queen of Swords returning there. Let me grab this card one sec. The Lovers, right? It's funny. Six of Cups turning into the Six on the Major Arcana. The lover's pathway. There's something about your love here, because this was going to come out on the devil. This love blocking out the devil. And you being really good at honing your mind and just constantly escaping. You're getting this energy of constant escapism. Two, 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 two on my clock. And this constant escapism turned you into this high priestess. It turned you into someone who is seeing above the pyramid with you. They talk about the top of the pyramid, the bottom of the pyramid. You've had a lot of people try and drag you down to the bottom of the pyramid because pyramid, they think they're doing it right. They need that assurance from other human beings. You get your assurance from God. And that's why to you, you know, your soul group is the balm. It is the energy that kept you going, that cocooned you. The energy that you turned towards. You could have even been made to feel guilty. Because seeing these energies in your childhood, this is energy of someone who did not like the people they lived with. Okay, because if you liked them, well, how can you like that devil when it's coming at you as a kid, right? So you knew they weren't the family for you at a young age. You knew that because you could feel too much love coming in spiritually. They're saying this is coming across like a crazy vision because to be a kid and to know this is phenomenal. It's because you're a child of the gods, the chariot card here. So we've gone from the lovers... We've gone from this childhood energy, getting your support from some invisible, loving force field. Then we move into lover's energy, following the pathway of the heart. From number six to number seven, the divine energy. They were just about to say the divine angel. The divine angel. So someone's like an angel to you. And it almost seems here like two sets of wings. Again, they're giving me that middle pillar here. Your mind can be in the dark or in the light and you blend them so beautifully and you're using this combination of beautiful energies to move forward and get to that crazy, crazy miracle. So I'm going to ask directly now about this crazy miracle and we'll see what's coming out. Let's use these. What does my viewer need to know about this crazy miracle? They're saying you held on. You held on to the vision. All you need to know is that if you hold on to the vision and you hold on to the love, ping, it has to happen. Ace of Wands energy, it's a big yes. 
on the vision. They keep telling me it's a big yes on the vision that you had in your childhood. And they know there's been a lot of debris. They know there's been a lot of energy from the Queen of Swords who you were here to the Queen of Swords who you are here. But as you see the upliftments coming here, yeah, they're showing me the chariot actually being driven. And they're saying, Raido, you ride for the gods. You are not a child of men. You are a warrior for the gods. They don't normally get apologetic, but they're saying, we're sorry. You had to experience this to become what you had to become. They're saying, we're sorry. We will make it up to you. This childhood pain is getting cancelled out. I'm seeing you on a trampoline, but like this is spirit giving me this energy of you jumping and being flying high and just feeling free like you're flying. Defense is removed here. Seven of Wands energy. You you had the best defenses for a reason. But now it's like the chain's breaking. I just keep keep getting it. Like when you take off the concrete boots, you fly. Two sets of wings. Total alignment here. Yeah, eight of wands here. So nine of pentacles. You've done something beautifully by yourself. You've you've made yourself strong and blossoming and glowing. They're saying the dream you had in childhood, the dream you had in childhood, it's still on. Okay, you're flying towards it and they know how hard it is. They know how hard it is to keep a dream going for decades, right? For absolute decades. But this is what makes you a master. This is what makes you a rider for the divine realms because you can hold that vision and still know what's precious when everything Everything has changed around you, but you're still the same person. Same dream, same heart, same goal. I'm just feeling this energy of decades. And I'm like, you're that powerful here. And this is why this transformation is going to be 10 times more powerful. I hope this reading's helped somebody. You're getting this vision, this beautiful dream you've had since childhood. I love you. Mwah.